Welcome to Crazy Shit in Real Estate, a weekly podcast where I walk you through some of the wildest, most unbelievable stories you'll hear from the world of real estate. If you like real estate and you love crazy, this is the podcast for you. Before we get any further into this episode, I've got some information to share. Oh, it's true. Real estate is super competitive and harder than you expected. That's why I created Lee Brown University. It's everything you need to take you from point A to point whatever your goal is. You could be new to the business or a seasoned vet. I'll help you break through to the next level so that your professional life can look exactly like you desire. Enroll in Lee Brown University today. I'll help you get there. In my show, we like some stories. So I've got to ask you, in all your years of doing real estate, and now your second generation of doing real estate with your son, you're going to have to tell us the craziest thing that you've encountered that you still can't believe you encountered it and it was not something you expected. So do tell. So one of the things that we do at uh, my, my company, Martel Turnkey, is that we, we now we flip, like we sell turnkey rental properties to, uh, to investors who want to build passive income. And uh, in the days, like we, we have to deal with new contractors that we, you know, we don't know exactly they're going to fit and all of that. So we sent uh, one contractor over to um, to a house and just to try try him out and all of that. It was recommended by uh, by a property management company, and then he goes in there and does the the renovation and have it like finished uh, what he considered finished. And uh, they, had, they had the craziest bathroom in there that I have ever seen, and they had basically a, a huge like uh, stage. <laughs> And then on top of that stage, they had the the toilet on top of that stage, and then the, with a low ceiling. And it was just like, how in the why, as a contractor, didn't you see that this thing that you saw that this thing would actually fly? Like you just like you know, and um, so that was that was the craziest rehab I've ever seen. It's just like you know not being in line with what we had done. We had shown him other properties that we have done and all of that. And then you're just like completely off in the, in the deep end <laughs> with this property. We well, still laugh at that today. That's got to be the hardest thing to find right now, though, is a contractor who will A, do a bid, B, show up and C, complete a job correctly because the labor market is so tight right now. Yeah. So what did you do with this contractor? Did you have him corrected or do you have to hire somebody else to make it right? Because No, we have him corrected. Yeah, we, absolutely. But if you toilet like this, you're not going to be able to rent that or sell that either one. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> on the board, they're very short people. Uh, the uh, And they like to be uh, <laughs> front front and center. Like, Hello, here I <laughs> Look <am."> at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's society right now. So maybe there's a whole Instagram thing here. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but uh, yeah. So I mean, we don't. We we work with our 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 realtor, our team. I mean, once we identify the people we want to work with, uh, even that contractor, uh, we said, okay, well, let's correct this. Let's. This is more like what we're looking for, and all of that. So we don't immediately kind of like, oh yeah, just, you're you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we move on to somebody else. We coach, we coach people. We, we say, okay, well, this, you know, see this? No, we don't do this. <laughs> so, uh, so that's, you know, we coach them. We, we make sure that they, they know what we're looking for so that the next house that they go into, then they, they have a better idea. Um, and as you mentioned, with the labor shortage and stuff, uh, so it's even more important now to, to keep a good relationship with uh, with your contractors. Uh, we, we do a lot of houses. So we do, a, we do 10 houses per month. Um, we have about like close to 90 projects right now uh, at different stages of, uh, of uh, renovations and stuff. So... It's, it's important. We have a lot of crews out there and then they know that the work is coming. So uh, having the good relationship, they don't have to look for work. They don't have to look for another client. They have us, they're going to get a house and then if they do a good job. So it's kind of like, oh, I don't have to do marketing. I can just do right. do renovation, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. So now well, we're providing like them job. Partners. If your realtors do a great job, they're going to have continual yeah. opportunities to bring you houses and buildings but if they stop performing, then that's when you would have to go replace yeah. them. So it's a reminder to 
stay consistent and keep the communication flowing. Oh, you're enjoying this little clip? Well, the rest of the story is available on any of your podcast apps. Just go search for and subscribe to Crazy Shit in Real Estate with Lee Brown.